When we think of assets, we may think of houses or shares in a company. But almost anything can be an asset, from intellectual property, such as songs or art, through to having loyal customers in a business or the personality of a YouTube star. Assets are defined as anything that generates future economic returns for their owners, and they're important in our economies and societies. Companies rely on repeated custom, for example, and families rely on their wealth and property to support retirement and education. That said, assets also contribute towards social inequalities. Inheriting assets means that wealth can stay within one family while other families remain without. There are two types of assets, financial and non-financial. They can also be tangible and non-tangible. Most assets are valuable because someone controls access to them and their benefits. A critically important asset today is digital data, especially personal data, which is used by companies to develop new services and products. Personal data is important for advertising markets and companies like Facebook and Google. User data can also be useful in the edtech sector by providing analytics services for learning and teaching. In edtech, data underpins services such as learning platforms, digital libraries and online classrooms. Data can be used to improve the performance of these services. For example, data can tell us about a relationship between student activity on a learning platform and student achievement. Companies are trying to use data to personalise learning. But this also means that the platforms who collect, process and control this data also control these services and therefore impact how we teach and learn.